Well, welcome to another episode of Grow Your Greenhouse. Today, we're going to put the final touches on the PVC pipe drain for the Dutch buckets. So, just briefly, I'll show you a couple things as I put together the T that I need and the, uh, the drain connections. Um, we've got to glue up the pipe, and the, you can see the purple primer that I put on. When you have a drain that's static and not a lot of pressure, you could get by on just gluing that, but I like to uh, just follow the regular principles of it and get the primer on. And I use the uh, OD primer and you know you ask yourself well uh, how much primer do you use when you have um, your lettering the barcode or this type of lettering what you do is you just prime it till that lettering is gone you just do a light coat around it dries real quickly be sure and put the cap back on and that will be good for a couple days there so you're ready to go ahead and glue up and the first thing I want to glue up is the cap, the end cap. You got a two inch end cap and two inch pipe. And what I like to do is use your regular PVC glue. It doesn't take a lot. And just put a couple swabs around the inside. And then on the drain end, where you're going to cap it, just put a couple swabs around there. Always put your brush back in. And just push it on and turn it a little bit. And that's all you got to do. Hold it for a few seconds and you're good to go. On a warm day like today, it dries real quickly. The next thing I'd like to do is to put on the tee. I've got a two inch by inch and a half reducing tee. And then here I've got an inch and a half by a three quarter inch reducer that will go inside here. And we'll go ahead and glue this up first. It's already been primed. I went ahead and did all that because you don't need to sit there and watch me doing all that work. And we just put the reducer on. We'll put it in here after we connect it. You just push it in. That allows you to go from two inch to inch and a half to three quarter. And just hold that for a few seconds. And it's not going anywhere. Next, we're going to put on the 45. I've got a three quarter inch piece of PVC here. And then I've got a 45. On this side, what I want to do is go ahead and get this put on because it's small. I just want to push it in here, turn it a little bit, then I want to put the glue on this part, and then put it right in there, making sure that it's 90 degrees to this way, where it's like that, because it's going to go right there, and then we'll cut a hole in the tote. And so now what we can do is go ahead and glue up and put the short end of the 2 inch PVC pipe on. Do your couple of swabs there. And I've got my two holes for the Dutch buckets. I'm going to make sure they're up and this approximates a 45. That's good enough. That's going to be fine. And that's all glued up now. And then what we want to do here. Well, first of all, yeah, we'll glue that. I'll, uh, I'll put the three-quarter inch on after we get this part glued up. Because I still have to drill a hole in the top of the Dutch bucket. Uh, here we go. Just get that swapped up real well. And make sure my holes are straight up. And they're going to go right back in there. Just like that. Isn't that great? And then we've got our drain set up here to be able to drain down into the tote, which we'll put our nutrient solution in the Eco 264 pump. And I need about four or five inch piece, and I've got, I've got the PVC pipe cutters. They're real neat. You just gently squeeze until it cuts it all the way through. Go, nice clean. And what we're going to do next is put the last piece of three quarter inch drain pipe on. I don't want to glue this because I want to be able to take it off when I need it. So what I want to do with my marker is just mark a circle around the top of the toe where the uh, drill bit needs to go down. And then I'll take the 
top off and then we'll just drill a hole right down through this. And then I'm going to take my knife and then I'll clean that up so that it will look real good and fit real nicely. And we'll just take the utility knife and clean this up a little bit. I need a little play in it. There we go. Well, let's do a test fit. Make sure it all works. There. And that's the drain. And now I'm going to take and uh, we're going to cut out a corner of the tote so I can hopefully just flip it back and not cut this part here, but just cut it all the way down through here in this edge here, and we can flip it back to look at the motor and have the electric wire come up through. But that's what we'll do on the, the next step here.